Hey everyone, it's Donald. I hope you guys are all having a great day. It's been a little while since we posted, however, lots of stuff going on. Um, and the first biggest thing is this bad boy here. This is what a lot of people have been waiting for. So I teamed up, or I should say Joe uh, Hinkle teamed up with me and worked on a solid state relay for the Harvest Right machines. That being said, if you have an older style relay that is just not solid state, um, this is your replacement relay board. You can only get it through fixmyfd.com, but Joe Inc. will uh, develop this for me. He lives down in Alabama, does some stuff. I'll give you guys a little bit of background about Joe. Uh, he has a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, was in the military, the Marine Corps, uh, flew A6, A6s in Vietnam, and then he worked mostly in automotive. He retired from corporate life in 2008 and then started his own company doing hardware and software design. He currently designs and sells through Holiday Coro, C O R O dot com, uh, doing pixel controllers and AC controllers used in commercial and uh, residential Halloween Christmas displays. So he understands how relays work at the end of the day, turning off and on, off and on all the time. Um, he purchased a Harvest Strike machine in 2003 um, and then really didn't get to using it until 2004, but realized how bad the relay boards were after doing a lot of research. And he reached out to me and I got him some bad relays so that way he could kind of see kind of the issues that were kind of being had with the burnt relays a lot of people are seeing. So in turn... After a lot of work, uh, a lot of hard work on uh, Joe's part, um, he ended up getting these all completed. This is how it will come to you if you purchase one, okay? These will not come direct from me. They're actually going to be drop shipped from Joe because he does every single one of these himself. So you'll see some zip ties on these relays here. And if you take those zip ties off, these relays will actually come off. They just pop right off. So if this relay ever goes bad, it's just another simple, you just push it in place. It's a couple dollar relay. So your solid state relay should never go bad. Uh, but at the end of the day, Joe's made a lot of this. Um, so it can be replaced easily for you guys. So we... <sighs> He has a lot of details, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of this goes over my head. I think a lot of it's going to go over yours. Um, I'll talk to him about maybe pushing this on the website so you guys can see all the details that he goes into. Um, but a lot of you guys, I think, understand solid state relays and all that stuff. And when <sighs> everything, the pulses and everything go up and down, right? Um, and then in turn, they go on and off the whole time. So in here, he talks about it going on and off 12 times per second. Um, so what he says is Harvest Rice has done a terrible job implementing a PWM. And if I can go in here to see what PWM is, I'm sure he labeled it out for me. Um, but, um, Oh, it's a pulse width modularization control. Um, they implement it as if it was a DC device. Um, however, it needs to be obviously treated as an AC device. Um, he said the ZZ, ZC signal says the AC is crossing zero volts. That's good. What's bad is it's turning the power off to the heater when the percentage has been met without any regard to the zc signal which is very bad so um in turn he's just made a bunch of changes right 12 times a second 60 seconds in a minute you're talking about forty-three thousand times it's going on and off per cycle per hour and that's why those other older relays that they used failed right they're just going on and off on and off all the time and then he also talks about how um, most uh, freeze dryers that use the solid state relays also have snubbers. That actually causes a leakage to happen. And, and in turn, 
at no point does the heat actually or the well yeah you were talking about heaters right so no point do they actually always turn off they're gonna always have a slight current going through them which means technically your heaters are always running a slight slight but a slight temperature this will actually stop it 100 percent. it will not have any type of heat going on during that time um he did not use any snubber circuit on his relay board so no unwanted tray heat exists he talks more about his relay board right um his most relay boards um are manufactured using one one ounce of copper uh, he uses two ounces of copper, which makes them cost a little bit more. Um, and it should not get as hot. Not sure like which one Harvest Rite's using, how much copper and everything. But uh, just so you guys know, he's trying to use more because it should make it better, right? Um, silicone bumpers on the underside, which you guys will see here, were placed. Uh, that way we can hopefully prevent this from cracking. If someone pushes too hard installing the wires i'm gonna show you guys the front part actually really in a second because it's really cool how he actually did all that front part for us as well we'll do it now because he just got to talk about so when you guys actually look at this relay board it actually tells you vacuum wire white vacuum black compressor black vacuum white okay it's super important that you guys pay attention to that harvest right does not label those at all um and the reason he said if someone reverses the hot and neutral connections it might cause damage to the device it's powering right so in turn <coughs> joe make sure he labeled this stuff for you guys at the end of the day so that way the correct stuff along with the tray uh temperature over here you guys can actually see that instead of reading 12 or whatever it is on the other relay boards so i should have grabbed an old relay board um while making this video but a lot of you guys have probably replaced them or understand. Uh, he also talks about, um, he put Loctite on these, right? So that way this bottom screw cannot come off. But what you'll do is connect the board. These, these are the same, the correct size to fit in your current relay boards, by the way. Um, you'll put the current uh, connector that Harvest Ray has right into these holes here and then you'll just put this on there just like that um that being said don't undo the other bolts he locked tight them um but that way it gives you some airflow between here uh and your board so make sure you guys do that i will make a video on installing this stuff um it's just going to take me some time i have to get time where i can get a customer's machine for an extended period of time i don't have a harvest right machine anymore because i thought i was done um <laughs> really having to do more videos and everything else so the wife and i fixed our harvest right machine sold it but now we now have a new product so we're either debating if we're going to go buy a new machine or if we're just going to wait until we find somebody which i'm going to go work on a machine on saturday <coughs> so Depending on what, uh, if they want to do a new relay board, I might get that video out for you guys. Uh, please make sure the green grounding wire that's associated with the compressor goes between the tray and the heat nut. It's the one closest to the wires over uh, the compressor wires. Um, any part, as we talked about, that could fail over time can be removed and it's a low cost replacement. So... This right here, if you clipped, you take it off. These can always be unscrewed as well. He also put a heat a heat sink on here as well. I'm like, Joe did this stuff, right? I don't know where the heat, the heat sink really goes. I'll just be honest with you guys. Oh, it's right here. Um, so he put a heat sink on. Um, Harvest Right currently doesn't use any paste on the one that he currently uh, looked at. In turn, um, the heat sink really disputes, it distributes the heat that's coming from the relay board and everything else. Uh, 
And then in turn, he also sh shared with me a picture of what he currently develops, which is one, two, three, four, five boards together along with a whole nother board. It's much more complex than what this is. So want to kind of go over that. I know it can be all over the place. I was trying to, I've read through this thing multiple times. And honestly, there's just a lot of details that I don't think an average consumer would probably like, truly probably care about. I'll just be honest with you. The biggest thing, biggest takeaway is we're moving to solid state relays. Okay. This is the only place you're going to be able to get a solid state relay that's built from somebody who is doing relays. Joe reached out to Harvest, right? I'll see if he put anything about this in his little uh, thing. Um, Cause I want to make sure that kind of, I talk about that. So let's see. Yeah, so um, he tried to contact engineering at Harvest Right, but they were not interested in any of the updates or changes that he talked to. Following is a technical, yeah, so in turn, he reached out to me. We got him an old screen, an old CPU, old relay board, all that type of stuff. Um, and then he reached out to Harvest Right, the engineering team. Obviously, they don't. They aren't going to ever admit they have something not created right, and they don't want to change stuff if they don't have to change stuff. I think when we really look at this stuff, right? I think Joe just did the small stuff that makes a big difference for all of us, right? Knowing where the tray needs to be plugged into. We know where the vacuum needs to be plugged into, the compressor, all that type of stuff, okay? This stuff here is all pre-wired. So it's not like you guys are gonna have to figure out, hey, where is this white wire or the yellow wire grow, go and all that stuff. Joe's already done that for you. But he does have it labeled on here as well. He does have uh, one and two. You'll see one, two, uh, one, two right here. Okay, and this isn't going to come off unless if you guys are like scraping it off or anything like that. But Joe, I appreciate everything you've done making this relay board. I'll just be honest with you. Um, a lot of people contact me um, and they say, hey, I really have an idea for this. I have an idea for that. Joe did not require any investment from me. And I mean, that's probably a big deal to, to, to some people. Um, a lot of times people, they want money for research development. They want money for all kinds of other stuff to really hopefully come out with a product. And then now you're spending thousands of dollars. And we spent thousands and thousands of dollars trying to make products and trying to make stuff better. And Joe, a single Harvest Right owner, sees a problem, sees we're trying to work on problems here and reaches out to me. And I can't, um, I can't thank him enough really for what um, he's done for the harvest, for the freeze dryer community. Um, Cause I have a feeling he's not gonna stop just with this little, um, this little invention or change or whatever you guys want to really call this uh, upgrade in my opinion, but he wants to make these just last longer for people and make sure people have machines that are up and running. So if you've had a relay board that you've had a change or like you're worried about, Hey, my relay board might get stuck and burn food or heaven forbid, burn down your house or anything else. This is the change that I would make. You know, we talked about, um, five items or six items, whatever it was. I made a video almost a year ago on the items you'd have in stock. This is, a uh, big item I would now upgrade and change now that we actually have one that is able to be done. So we have obviously vacuum hoses we can do now. We have vacuum leak fixes. We now have relay boards, right? We're looking at epoxy harnesses. I find them, they're pretty expensive. Um, so trying to still find those. The vacuum sensors are really expensive compared to what harvest right sells them for however i know where to get them if we need them in the future so if harvest right ever has issues and they aren't manufacturing anymore i feel like we can take care of a lot of stuff 
free on leaks that's a whole nother story like that's a whole video in itself like the amount of free on leaks that i'm kind of working with people on i just got done working with two three people today with free on leaks um and yeah that's that's a story but today new relay board thanks to joe hinkle um everybody please leave a comment down there for joe about this relay board um so as i said there's a lot more copper joe is a one-man shop that i'm aware of so he's the one building these he's the one going to ship them he's going to do all that type of stuff for us so you can get these at fixmyfd.com they're going to be 215 dollars um but i think harvest right sells their relay boards for like 100 bucks um they're not solid state relays they're not anything like that they haven't done any of the extra small stuff that, in my opinion, makes this uh, definitely worth the 210 bucks or 215 I, It's 210 215 I got to look back. But um, you guys will buy it from FixMyFD.com. I'll get your guys' info over to Joe so he can ship it out direct to you. Um, so that being said, these are all made to order. So... How long it's going to take to get to you from Joe could be two to three weeks, depending on if we're getting closer to Christmas time and he's possibly work or the holidays and he's working on, you know, that type of for his business. Or if hey it's middle of summer, he doesn't have a lot going on. Maybe he's getting these out a lot quicker. OK, if we give a lot of orders, then obviously stuff will probably get a lot faster because he's going to start producing a lot more at one time instead of the onesies and twosies. He has money involved in this and he probably doesn't want to be making 40 or 50 just to sit on when he could be using the relays maybe for something else that he has going on. So, but these will be on the website today. I'm getting ready to take a picture of them right now. Um, I'll verify the price. It's 210 or 215. Um, and then we will get these out to you. You can turn around and order the vacuum leak kick, vacuum leak fix, or the hoses or anything else at the same time as this. Understand this is just going to ship separately, um, and just give some time because these are unique. They're built to order as we talked about. So, if you guys have questions, please leave a message or a comment down below. Okay, Joe does follow the YouTube channel. Uh, and you might turn around and see Joe respond directly to your guys' questions that he has. I'm going to talk to him about uploading this form onto the website because that way you guys kind of, if you want to get nerdy and really understand um, the 12 times a second that's changing, uh, how often that really means it's going on and off, we can definitely get into that. So, um, but yeah, I'm saying um, so I'm getting ready to get back off of this. Uh, but thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do for FixMyFD.com and the support you guys have provided. My wife and I, um, along with the kids, just got back from the Caribbean. So we had a good week of relaxation, no internet, no anything. So we've gotten most of the orders all packed up today. I got a few that need to go out to the post office. But other than that, we got caught up on all of our orders, thank goodness. And we... Um, just thank you guys so much like we can't we can't tell you guys how much we appreciate you guys so you guys take care have a great day